a couple hours ago, he said, this is the first time in all my years that my parents are going to be here to see me. He said, I've never done an event with my parents in attendance. And I instantly got the, got the, the goosebumps. And I said, man, that is, that is special. So his parents are here. If Dr. Dan Gugler's parents are in attendance, raise your hand. Are they over on this side? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Google family and his wife, Jane. Dr. Dan's amazing wife, Jane. I want you to put your hands together for none other than Breeze, CSO, Chief Scientific Officer, the man in the myth, the legend himself, Dr. Dan Google. actually connected into the skin. And we knew that we knew that for a while, but what they found is these nerves actually connect all the way to the brain. This super highway. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You should say that's cool, because that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that was really cool. That's freaking cool. I remember five years ago when I read that. This is a nature paper. I was like, oh my gosh, I almost fell off my chair. It was just, it was amazing. But what they found is that, and what we found in, in collaboration with, uh, with some great collaborators overseas, is that there's small molecules 
Oh yeah, let's, let's draw molecular structures, right? We want to feel good, small molecules. So what they found, and what we found in our research is that, that there are molecules that can attach, that they, that they bind to the skin. When they bind to the skin surface, what they do is bam, they form a signal, lightning happens. They, they connect or they form a signal and that goes directly to the brain. Is that cool? When you put something on the skin, it goes to the brain. That's freaking cool. You should say that's cool. That's, right. that's cool. So when it goes to the brain, what happens? Does it stop there? No. What happens is it forms. It's, it actually, in the brain, it produces cool molecules like serotonin and dopamine and DATA and other amines that are neurotransmitters. And serotonin, as you know, is one of the happiness molecules, dopamine as well. So you form, you form these neurotransmitters, which makes you smile, right? It makes you happy, it makes you smile. And what happens when you're happy? What happens to your skin? So there's been research studies done. What happens to your skin when you're happy? When you look in the mirror and you're happy, you say, I look good. What happens? Your skin actually improves. It's beautiful, it's better. So what's really cool is when you're happy, and you have these neurotransmitters, we have signal transduction cascades. And that actually comes back to the skin. And when these signals are sent back to the skin, wrinkles disappear, hydration is improved, hyperpigmentation is improved, and, and what happens, these molecules are still on the skin, right? So what happens? The signal's sent back again, and it's this beautiful cycle. So one of the taglines that we've Let's, let's show it up there. Yeah, look at this. Isn't that beautiful that marketing came up with? When you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you look good. So what happens is it's a cycle. Feel good and look good. And they're connected to each other. But the beautiful thing that happens is when we feel good and we look good, it's a cycle. And this cycle, erase some of this here. So this cycle is not just it's not just a loop. When you feel good, you look good, but when that happens, your skin and your brain health actually goes to a new plane. You feel good, look good, and so it's an iterative, repetitive cycle that makes your skin and brain look better and better and function more and more productive. Uh, productive. Isn't that cool? Yeah. How many other companies are doing this? Nine. Zero. We are the very first company to do this. Today of neurocosmetic on the map. So when you talk to someone, they're like, hey, have you heard of neurocosmetics? They're like, what the, what? Neurocosmetics. So it was interesting, in Apple News, just a couple weeks ago, Kim shared with me, there was an article that came out talking about neurocosmetics being the next wave. And they're saying, this could be cool, right? Companies could be doing this in the past. In the future, they're talking about it, maybe something ethereal, conceptual. Well, hey guys, boom, we've done it. This is it. So clinical studies, here at three, we don't just hope it works or pray it works or, or think it works or have marketing try to convince people it works. We show clinical studies demonstrating that it works. So one of the powerful ingredients that contains hundreds of molecules is called Zathaloxam allotum. And it's from Nepal, we get it from Nepal. It's sustainably sourced there. And look at this clinical study. So when we put Xanthaloxin a lot of on skin. What we find is it actually helps to increase the amount of neurons that are growing in the skin, right? So, so our neurons, our nerve fibers here, when you put this on the skin, boom, we have more and more fibers, okay? These nerves are sticking through the skin. And on the right, the length is improved, right? So sometimes our neurons are way down embedded in the skin here, and, and even below the skin. When you take this product, it actually allows these nerves to come up into the skin. So when we put the molecules, these beautiful molecules on the skin, bam, this reaction can happen to a larger degree. <clears throat> and we talked about DHEA, we talked about dopamine. We have clinical studies right here that you can see showing that the ingredients in our super serum increase DHEA. DHEA, dehydroendosterone, uh, very important molecule that helps to produce serotonin and other neurotransmitters. And you see here, we increase dopamine. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, so we have clinical validation. It's not just a wish, it's not a hope, but we have strong science. 
Other science here. So this science is on 2% cephaloxin a lot of, which is the amount of the product in our formulation. A lot of people, when they talk about clinical studies, they show a clinical study where they use, uh, you know, the clinical study shows like 500 milligrams, and they have five milligrams in their product. We never, ever do that. We put, yeah, you're welcome. We put efficacious amounts of our ingredients in our formulations. So this actually shows that the first study was done, we used a profile of mood state analysis called POMS. And this POMS analysis, we actually show versus placebo that when you take this product and you put it on the skin, the skin uh, mood increases. Mm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Mood increases. You feel better. Emotional well-being overall improves. And on the right, this is a study, so state of the art, if you want to determine mood and overall how someone feels, the emo compass test is the gold standard right now. So it's a computerized system that you do. People take a test and they go through a bunch of different processes, fill out questionnaires and, and they actually have sliding bars and whatnot. And it is the gold standard for predicting emotional state. And what you see here on the left, in blue you have the placebo, in green you have our ingredient. And what you see is that when you take our ingredient after, you see post there and you see that line, that half circle represents emotional well-being. And what we find is that after using this ingredient, and this was using this ingredient once. Once. Isn't that amazing? Look at the results after using it once. Once, you now, you, you now push all the way to the barrier of emotional well-being. Woo! What do you think about that? So, we are the proactive wellness company. We're the molecular company. We're about holistic health. And as you see here, this product fits perfectly into our six products for holistic health and well-being. Now, exploration is one of the key pillars of three science. Because we're all about the what? Molecules. Uh, molecules, yes. We're all about beautiful molecules. These neurocosmetic molecules that we've collaborated with and found and discovered together are part of the secret sauce. But we've been doing our own research We've, we've been doing a lot of research in Death Valley in the Mojave Desert. Why? Because we've been looking for a specific molecule that can help with this serum. And, we, we, and we've been working on this for a long time. So I want to play a video that demonstrates the power of exploration. And actually, this serum, in addition to neurocosmetic, it has new molecules. Isn't that cool? So when we've been traveling around in our videos previously, it's not that we've just been going on a road trip or going camping or having fun. What you're going to see is that when you take this product and put it on your skin, you have unique molecules that have not been seen before in the industry. Play the video. We are here in the Mojave Desert, the hottest place in the world and one of the most unforgivable terrains on the planet to search out a new molecule that we could put in a skincare serum, a molecule that can support skin health in ways not seen before in the industry. And we know from our recent research and past expeditions that such a molecule in a plant exists here in the desert. So come along with us, we're gonna have a good time and we're gonna find that molecule. So it's the last day of our research expedition. We've traveled hundreds of miles and surveyed thousands of square miles of land trying to find this plant that can support skin health. And I'm pleased to announce that we found it. This is a desert plantain that we have discovered through our exploration efforts. And because of that, this plantain contains phytonutrients in a ratio, in a composition not seen before. And we're taking this plantain and we're putting it in a brand new product that will improve health to a degree not seen before in the industry. Oh man, I am so stoked. 
This is what fuels me. This is what fires me up. This is what exploration and science is all about. Seeking the unknown, going out there and discovering it, taking it and using it to improve human health in ways that nobody else has. We're back from our research expedition from the Mojave Desert, where we collected this desert plantain, and we're here in the lab where we want to analyze this plant for new molecules. Exploration is a key feature here at 3. We discover new molecules from plants, and we put them in our products. The first thing that we wanted to do with this desert plantain is we want to run something called thin layer chromatography analysis, or TLC. So what we did is we took the leaf, and we also took the butter, the seed, and we put them in a solvent, a liquid. And then what we did is we dabbed that liquid on a silica plate and we did thin layer chromatography analysis. And the results are shown here. So each of these little dots that you see, these circles represent molecules from the plantain. On the left, we have a TLC of the leaf. On the right, we have a TLC of the bud or the seed. And this spot right here represents a lantuan. A lantuan is a molecule that we've studied before and we found in our studies and in the scientific literature that the lantuan can help to support health of the skin by helping the skin be vibrant and bright. And it also helps to nourish the skin by keeping the skin smooth and moisturized. And what we found is that the lantuan couples nicely with the molecules in our miracle elixir to help to support skin health in ways not seen before in the industry. So this is exploration in action. When you use our Visage Super Serum product, you're using molecules from the plantain plant that help to promote skin health. So this instrument that we have here is called HPLC, or High Pressure Liquid Chromatography. And what we do is we take the molecules from the plant and we shoot it through this column. And this column is attached to high pressure. What it does is it's pushing the molecules through. It separates out hundreds of molecules enough that it's able to detect them. And each molecule in this spectrum, it shows up as a peak. And each of these peaks, we found one of them is a lantern, and we have other peaks. Some of them we know, rutin, gallic acid, a lantern-like molecules, and others we're in the process of discovering these molecules, their chemical structure, and how they can support human health. So this is really cool. If you look here at this trace, each of these peaks represents molecules. Some molecules we know, like rutin and gallic acid, and look at here, boom, a lantern. So we're sure that we have a lantern in your Visage Super Serum product. We have a lantern-like molecules, and some of these peaks represent molecules that we haven't discovered yet. So we're in the process of identifying what they are. And so that's what makes three so unique, so special, so different, is new molecules from plants, exploration, discovery, that we put in products like that Visage Super Serum that you're holding in your hand that can support health. It's this insanity cycle. And if you want to be different, you need new molecules. And so, my friends, in this product, new molecules that have never, ever been seen before. And, you know, it was a special day when I went to the lab and I looked at the HPLC trace. You, you, and and uh, we, uh, we pulled them out. And it's always a fun time when you do extraction and you pull them out. Like I was talking about yesterday in our health professional uh, meeting, who went to the health professional meeting? Did you like that? That's fun. Awesome. It was so great being with you guys. There's a database, and it's called SciFinder. Basically, you could put in a molecule, any molecule. That database contains millions of entries. Millions of entries. And what you do is you put in the structure, you put in the molecular weight, you put in a lot of different things to identify identifiers. You know, like people, I want to identify them. They're 5'7", eyes brown, whatever. You know, you put that in. And when you put that in, if the molecule exists, boom, it'll spit it out. And a few weeks ago, with one of these molecules, TLC, HPLC, when we put it in, guess what happened? Your search returned. No results. No results, exactly. And I was like, oh my gosh, Googler, you just found a new molecule. Yeah. We got some of them in this trace. So, new molecules equals new power. New molecules equals new results. If you want to have new results, get out of that insanity cycle. 3 Serum represents a departure from the insanity cycle. All the stuff that people are selling, these high fancy stores, it's all this. This, it'll leave its own. Okay, you like that? The ingredients, what makes it so special? We have our 3 Miracle Elixir. You like that name? I think it's a great name because 
these three ingredients, coriandrum, vitex, agnus castus, and the xanthaloxin melatum, are our three neurocosmetic ingredients. And embedded in these, we have over 150 neurocosmetic molecules that help to connect the skin-brain connection. And then we have Helianthus anus. And we're gonna talk about more about this, but who's heard of NAD plus? Yeah. NAD plus is a hot molecule, it's a hot story. This ingredient produces NAD plus in the skin. Now that's freaking cool, we're gonna talk more about it. High performing ingredients, we have elantrum like we talked about, we have squalene, bakuchiol. Bakuchiol is an alternative for retinol. In a lot of skincare, who likes retinol? You like retinol products? Retinol is a great ingredient. The problem is, if you have sensitive skin, photo damage is a big problem for a lot of people with retinol. This is a retinol alternative that brightens, lifts, provides a glow to the skin without the, without the retinol side effects. And we have vitamin C, also really good at providing brightening to the skin. No three product would be complete without cellular absorption technologies. How many cellular absorption technologies do we use? Yeah. 11. Yes, 11 different technologies to make sure that all the molecules, big, small, beautiful, and beautiful, there's no ugly molecules, right? Beautiful molecules get into the cell. And what we've used is we have three different cellular absorption technologies. We have adjuvants, which help to make the cell membrane just a little bit leaky so the molecules can get in. It's like in football, where the offensive linemen open up that hole, whoosh, so the running back can go through a split second, boom. That's what adjuvants do. So we have an adjuvant system in this product. We have polyphenol complexation. And basically what that means is there's some molecules that are not very permeable. They can't get through the cell. And so what you do is you put other molecules, polyphenols around this molecule that forms interactions. We can geek out about van der Waals interactions and pi pi stacking. If you want to come after, we can draw it up on the board. It'll be great. But anyways, it's kind of like Taylor Swift. If Taylor Swift is trying to get into a stadium. Everybody crowds her. She can't get in, right? But if you put two people on the front, two people on the back, four people People on each side, whoosh, they could just walk right in, right? Get out of the way, we're getting in. That's what polyphenol complexation works. And what's, what's this, what? Molecular shuttles? What in the world is that? Hmm. So there's some molecules that are big, that are long. And in skincare, you have really long fatty chain, uh, fat, fatty acids like squealing and others. that are important to penetrate into the cellular, uh, into the dermis, into the cellular level. And these are not very soluble. So what you can do is if you have large molecules that are fatty acids as well, that basically form L-like structures where you can form like a picture frame, a rectangle. So these molecules oh, can just slide nicely into them and they can go into the cell. You can form molecular shuttles. And so that's what we've done here. This is a brand new technology, cellular absorption technology, okay? So how many cellular absorption technologies do we now have? Cellular absorption technologies. How do we use this product? Well, you use cleanser, you use toner, and then you apply this product right when you would your normal serum, and then you follow up with, moisture, with the moisturizer. <laughs> what we found, though, a lot of people in our testing have told us that when they started to use this product twice a day, all these other things, they're not using them as much anymore. And some people aren't using them at all because of the power of this product. The key benefits, helps with wrinkles, expression lines, hydration, helps with skin support, skin comfort. One of the things that people say about this product is how it feels on the skin, the silky smooth feeling. And there's an instant tightening to the skin as well. Now the most important thing is how this product works. I mean, who cares about the science, right? You can, yeah, 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 yeah. You can show clinicals, whatever. But the bottom line is, does it work? So let's look at some results, shall we? Look at this. This is 28 days. Someone who's used this product for 28 days. Look at the forehead wrinkles before day one and after day 28. Look at that. Amazing. Look at the hyperpigmentation on the cheek from day one to day 28. 28 days. How long does it take for skin cells to turn over? 30. 28 days. So what we're seeing is incredible results after just 28 days. What about how people are feeling? Look at these, read these. I love the top one. My daughter said, mom, you're in such a good mood lately. And I swear it's a serum. <laughs> 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 
We want to be in a good mood, right? We want the people around us to be in a good mood. Top right, third day. Like we said, using less moisturizer and toner. Bottom left, a feel-good feeling on the skin. Bottom right, something they can feel happening right away. And our commitment to you at three is that every product that we give to you, you has demonstrable results that you can feel immediately. No one's going to continue using something if you don't feel it working after the first application or so. Who likes that? Yeah. So we're pleased to announce the Massage Super Serum. It's available right now. And let's watch a summary video about it. Everyone's skin tells a story, reflecting not just where we've been, but also how we've felt along the way. Imagine a product that can enhance both how your skin looks and how you feel. Introducing Visage Super Serum by 3, a groundbreaking neurocosmetic designed to support the skin-brain connection. Packed with natural plant molecules and nerve-supporting ingredients, 3's proprietary miracle elixir helps you look and feel amazing. Our scientifically backed formula tackles the aging indicators with a potent blend of elantoin, squalane, macuchiol, and vitamin C. These ingredients work synergistically to reduce wrinkles and expression lines improve skin tone, and deliver a hydrated, radiant complexion. By day, skin looks plumped and lifted. At night, it's nourished and renewed. Because when your skin feels good, you look good. Visage Super Serum by 3. Experience the transformation. Wow. Yeah, that's a video you can easily share. Highlights the power of this product in simple, easy-to-understand terms. So I want to talk more about this serum, and in doing so, I want to invite out two distinguished members of our scientific advisory board to help us to do that. And the, the individuals that are going to help us is the first individual is Dr. Timothy Schneider. Who knows Dr. Schneider? Our SAP chair, trained at the Mayo Clinic, trained at Johns Hopkins, the best schools in the world, a pioneer in his field, and a brilliant, brilliant physician, scientist, and scholar. And then the second individual is Dr. Charles Green. Who knows Dr. Green? <laughs> Trained at the best schools in the world as well, University of Washington, Seattle, uh, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Uh, and has his own medical spa, so very qualified to talk about this. So let's invite out Dr. Schneider Green. <laughs> So I want to talk a little bit more about this serum and help us understand a little bit about the power, the features, the ingredients, and uh, the results people are seeing. I'm exhausted. <laughs> You're exhausted. <laughs> I am too, actually. I'm exhausted watching this guy. Can we just go home now? <laughs> so where is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Goobler? Uh, I just want to tell you thank you from the bottom of my heart for Woo! making this uh, he may be a better man than he is a scientist, and we all know he's a great scientist, so uh, proud of you. I'm happy for you. So anyway, I had to say that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So um, let's, let's talk about this neurocosmetic aspect to the product. Dr. Schneider, you've, uh, you've, talk, you've studied a lot about neurocosmetics, and when it comes to product development, we work together as a team, the Scientific Advisory Board, we're a team, and I remember we had many, many talks where uh, we were coming up with ideas and I would pitch an idea. And I remember both of you, when I did that I pitched, you guys were like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so I'm grateful for the collaborations that we've had together. Any product that's developed here at 3 is a result of our amazing scientific advisory board. And when we started thinking about neurocosmetics, um, we felt good. We were onto something there. Dr. Schneider, what are your thoughts about neurocosmetics? Well, I, I think that the results uh, speak for themselves. Uh, with most of our products, if they don't leave you uh, with a noticeable change, either in the way you feel or the way you look, uh, then we haven't done our job. So, talk a little bit about first impressions. When you look at someone, what is the first thing that you see? The face. It's usually the first, now the Oliskis would, you know, they, they would beg to differ because they'd say it's teeth. 
right? There they, there they are. Both of them are dentists, in case you didn't know. But the skin is the largest organ that we have, um, and it's critical that we maintain its health because it also reflects so many things. I want you to write down this quote because this quote that I'm going to give you actually is the encapsulates neurocosmetics perfectly. It says, and I'll read it slowly, your face is the canvas upon which our interior world is painted. Once again, your face is the canvas upon which your interior world is painted. That is neurocosmetics. Now, how many of you have ever had a stressful situation like going to prom for the first time and you wake up the morning of prom and you have a zit at the tip of your nose? It happens. That's, that's the neurologic connection between our skin or how about you're getting your senior picture taken and all of a sudden you get a break out of acne. That is a correlation between your internal and your external self. Those are mediated by neurotransmitters, things like catecholamines, things like cortisol, but there is definitely a communication between our skin and our brain and the rest of our body. If you've seen someone who smoked a lot of cigarettes and drunk a lot of alcohol, you'll notice that their skin looks a certain way. It is a reflection of what they have had in their past. How about this one, the glow of pregnancy? How many of you know what afterglow is? That's the part where you have the cigarette afterwards, but anyway. How about, how about the glow of peace? Have you ever looked at someone and said, wow, there's just something about that person that's really right on the inside, and it shows on the way their skin looks. So um, it does reflect many different disease states. Uh, that's what our skin will do for us. Um, and it does support a positive mood. If you have skin which is in good shape, um, it does address the fine lines, uh, it does enhance brightness, uh, and more importantly, it makes you feel better. I know that I will, um, I'm married to Donna, and Donna likes to put on makeup. I don't care one way or another, but for her, it definitely makes a difference. In other words, it enhances her mood. If you've ever been to a Sephora or an Ulta, or if you've been to the Hong Kong airport where they have massive amounts of cosmetics, the women that are in there, and it's primarily women, they are massively happy. The music is blaring, the, 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 it's like you're in Las Vegas. So there is definitely something about cosmetics that is uh, definitely the field to be in. And what's exciting about three is that we are actually able to deliver. So yes. I am excited. You know, one, one thing that you said that I loved um, is that the, the skin is the canvas that can show what's going on on the inside. And with the technology of neurocosmetics, what I'm so excited about is that if you put something on the surface, the science is there that you can potentially change what's happening inside. So it's not just an expression, but there's hope for change. And that's why this product is so powerful. Dr. Green, let's look, let's look at results here. You are the owner of a med spa. You have seen a million people's face, I'm sure, and, and, and know how to pick out crow's feet and those sorts of things. What are your thoughts about the results that we're seeing? Okay, first of all, hello everyone. It's an honor to be here uh, again in front of you. And before I say anything, uh, since this is the first time that Google family has been able to see you, I just also want to say how proud I am to be affiliated with your son. He is a great human being, a great person. And uh, I only hang out with people I like. So I'm only here because I like these people who are right here. So actually what I have learned is that they seem different, but they're really the same. I, I call them my two Ps, the passion and the peace. But the interesting thing is, there's peace in his passion, and there's passion in his peace. So they're kind of like the same, and they're both very brilliant. So let's take a quick, quick look at this uh, photo. So look to the far left, and when I say something to you, I want you to think about it. 
what do you see? I mean, the arrows kind of give it away, but what I see is right by the eye on the left, I see that there are some crow's feet. Do you see them? They're fine. And now look at the after picture on the right, just 28 days later. Do you see the smoother appearance? And then look underneath the eyes. Do you see how on the left there's some fine lines underneath the eyes? Do you see it? And then on the picture on the right, it's not there. Now look down below at the nasal labial fold. That's a long word, smile lines. Look at that smile line. Do you see how it's smoother four weeks later? Is there anybody in here that thinks that's incredible? Yeah. It almost looks like this person had some neurotoxin, doesn't it? But this is the beauty and the power of neurocosmetics. So Dr. Green, 28 days that it takes for skin cells to turn over. And the results you received. What are your thoughts about that? I think it's amazing. Uh, so when we talk about aging, what are we really talking about? When you age, when we age, we lose things, right? Does anybody know that? I was showing them pictures of me uh, backstage when I was uh, 16 or 17 years old and I was bragging about my boom and fro, but when we get older, we lose things. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but we, we, we lose things. We lose collagen. Uh, we lose NAD+, plus, which we'll talk about later. Uh, we lose our strength, we lose vitality, and we lose our ability to process information as well as we did when we were younger because we lose some of the function in the brain. So what this is about today is Restoration. Restoration. Restoring what was taken away. And so the way the cells and the skin work is that the layers that are on the surface, when they're damaged, they're, they go away, they shed. And then the stem cells, which are below, restore. And so what you can see here is that the restoration process has been enhanced. Do you see it? That's why this is amazing. In only 28 days. The skin turns over every 28 to 40 days. 28 days for you young folks, 40 days for people that are mature like me. <laughs> you look great, by the way. You, you do have to see this fro, though. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. So, Dr. Schneider, Exploration. As the chair of the SAB, you have been instrumental in helping to push exploration. And we talked a lot about this yesterday, and we talked about this earlier. I cannot overstate the importance of exploration, but that's just me. I'm passionate about that. Dr. Schneider, what are your thoughts about exploration and the new molecules that we have in our super suit? I think that this product, probably more than any other, um, it actually puts our money where our mouth is. Um, we deliver. We do the hard work of actually, uh, if you're gonna say you're doing an exploration, let's see it, and guess what? We've got new molecules to prove. Um, so we do the hard work. That's really, really is what sets us apart. The question that you all need to ask yourself, number one, we are transparent, and number two, do we do what we say that we are going to do? And the truth is that we do. Uh, the exploration part, you've seen a beautiful video. Uh, the curation or the creation of these molecules, the magic is in the molecules, but it's not the individual molecule. It is the, abs the, the combination of molecules which actually create a synergy which is the beautiful symphony that gets us and our products to work so much better. And then of course there's the absorption and once again, one more new absorption technology that we can take advantage of. So I'm proud of the company. Uh, exploration is key. I tell you what, there aren't that many people that would um, take time from their family and go out and find these molecules and kudos to you.
truly. Thank you. Well, in the, in the exploration aspect, I need to thank our amazing founder and CEO, Daniel Piku. Exploration is not cheap. Going to study molecules, running experiments in the lab, that costs a lot of money. And he is an amazing supportive founder in providing the funds for that. In this industry, I, I mentioned before, but when a lot of times executives say they want to do science, but then when you go to them with the bill or the cost estimate of what it would take, they're like, <coughs> you know, they're like, uh, we'll talk about it later, you know? Chinese guy, Tin you know? They're like, some other time, you know? Um, but Daniel, when I talked with him, when we were forming the company, when I talked with him about doing this and having this be a core pillar of the company, he saw the vision, he was all in. So kudos to Daniel, let's give him a round of applause. So um, let, let's look at this before and after. Dr. Steiner, what are your thoughts here? Well, um, I'm a gentleman, nonetheless. This does appear to be a male specimen. <laughs> I uh, love how medical he is, right? <laughs> Uh, so here we have, uh, so first of all, he's, he's a male, um, and so that opens up a whole can of water. Will men use this product? How many of you are married out there? How many of you are, have a male spouse? Is that male spouse vain or not? Was that a tie? I'm not sure. I heard, all right, so some of you are vain and some of you are not. I, I think the reality is is that men are vain, uh, they just don't claim it. Um, so yesterday, yesterday I, I was out in the hall and you know, I'm just being, I guess, transparent. Um, somebody came up to me, and I don't, I don't know who you are, but somebody came up to me and said, Dr. Schneider, you look younger. That was me, no. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't even here yet, so. <laughs> All right, so you might say, why tell the story? Because it made me feel good. I, I think I felt good for probably about 97 minutes, and it lasted. So I think that, that we've got to be a little bit crazy to think that this is definitely not an elixir for women only. This is something that both can enjoy, and I think we'll see uh, lasting and very noticeable improvement. Now, looking at this this person once again, you'll see um, what appears to be a diminishing in the lines uh, along the lateral canthus, that's a medical term, uh, for the eyelid. Um, and then there does appear to be a more hydrated appearance as well. So I think the take home message is it works. Number two, this is a unisex product. Yeah. You know, and, and vanity aside, the skin, the barrier of the skin, and the function that it provides for the body is equally needed for men and women. So, Lee, I'm going to leave this over to you because we think of med spas as sort of a female only. What trends are you seeing, Charles, when it comes to your med spa? So, at the Green Emo Med Spa, and I just, I'm not trying to get a plug, but I, I really appreciate the fact that you made this green. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next. I'm grateful. <laughs> it's gonna go well in the in the spa with the other three products. But, but the spelling's G R E E N. Well, no, we, we, we can. Okay, that's true. Change your name. It's too late for that. <laughs> My mother wouldn't like it. Uh, but thank you for doing that. Um, I do want to say that uh, working with Dr. Snyder, he's like a walking. Massage. He's, he, he makes you feel good. He's always made, he's so edifying and kind. I think that when we think about what's happening with the skin, uh, we need to remember that, uh, and, and the best way I can describe this to you is that when I uh, used to cook, I used to barbecue, and I would make this barbecue sauce. And everybody would want to know what's in that sauce. And I said it was the secret sauce. In fact, I would put a label on and say, the secret sauce knocks your socks off. And it did. Everybody needs secret sauce. Men need secret sauce. Women need secret sauce. Everybody needs a secret sauce. We all want to look good. We all want to feel good. And in the spa, in our medical spa, 
there are a lot of men. And increasing, the trend is that more and more men are taking better care of their skin as well as their body. So I would say that uh, men need love too. And our skin, all of our skin needs love, right? And it's not just about looking better, it's about feeling better and doing whatever we can to preserve longevity and to have a high quality of life. And that includes our appearance. Well said, beautifully said. So speaking about the secret sauce, Dr. Green, what are your thoughts about our numerical events? Well, first of all, my thoughts are these are some very complicated words. And since I'm hooked on phonics, you see the three miracle elixir. I want to talk a little bit about these products. So in the secret sauce I made, I kept it a secret until one day I told a friend of mine, I says, okay, I'll give you the secret. I'll tell you what the ingredients are. So I gave him the ingredients. He made the barbecue sauce. He invited a bunch of people over, and he put the sauce on, and we ate the barbecue, and it, it just wasn't, the, 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 the secret sauce wasn't knocking anybody's socks. Everybody kept their socks on. It didn't knock anybody's socks on. And he came to me, and he said, what happened? I said, it's not just the ingredients. It's the way you put the ingredients together. And that's why we need to give Dan a big hand. This is the secret sauce. So the first word is coriandrum sativum. Can anybody else say that? Coriandrum sativum. It supports skin comfort and wellness, enhancing resilience to environmental factors. So I, I, I did some research, and I found, I, I found a couple of other things that it does. One of them, is that it decreases aging by reducing sun damage. The sun is not our friend. The sun hits the skin, it damages our DNA, it breaks down the stem cells underneath the skin, and that's why we have photoaging. The second product I want to talk about is the Vitox Angus Castus. See how if you go slow you can say it? It enhances skin elasticity and hydration, and it supports collagen production. How many know we lose collagen as we grow older? And so this product, I did some research, and it, in some places they call it monk's pepper. Did you know that? I don't know if the monks were using it, but it helped with the skin. And it also has antioxidant properties. And the next product, Xantho, Who's want to say that? A lot of them, that's right. It nourishes and hydrates the skin, and it helps give you the healthy glow and the healthy appearance. And I did some extra research on that, and I found out that it has anti-inflammatory properties. It also helps reduce the skin acid levels, which is really something that affects people who, who have acne. And the most important ingredient from my perspective and the revolutionary one, in my, in my opinion, is the Helianthus annuus. It says it naturally supports the longevity of the molecule NAD+, which supports skin health, vitality, and the natural rejuvenation process. NAD+, is a big deal. As we get older, we lose NAD+. This is the only product that I know of in the world that we were able to measure when you put it on your skin, it raised your NAD plus levels. When I came in to the stage, you may have thought I was dancing. I was not. I was doing some stretching exercises. I can dance better than that. And I had to stretch because I did a crazy leg workout yesterday and then I worked out this morning and we text each other and I said, he said, are you gonna work out? Cause I got in late. I said, yep, 5.30 in the morning. And then I text back because I want to increase my NAD plus levels. Exercise increases your NAD plus levels. A healthy diet increases your NAD plus level. But the only thing that I know of that you can put on your skin that will increase your NAD plus level is our product. 
That's amazing. That's amazing. So it increases the NAD plus level, which promotes healthy skin. And that's why we're seeing results. NAD plus in the skin gives the skin cells the energy that it needs to rejuvenate even more quickly and powerfully. Dr. Green, check this out. This is another example of the miraculous effects of the miracle serum. So let's look over at week zero. What do you see? First of all, look at the cheek area. You see the redness or erythema, as we like to call it. Do you see the spotty red areas on the cheek? And then as you look by the eye very closely, do you see the saggy appearance underneath the eye, the dark circle? And now look at the after picture. Does the skin appear more clear to you? It does to me. And notice how smooth the area around the eyes now appears. I think that this is miraculous. How do you like that? So we've talked a lot of science. We've talked about a lot of geeky things. But Dr. Green will go with you first, then you, Dr. Snyder, close things out. If you were to just help people to clearly understand how this works. And if you were in our position and you were talking to someone about this serum, what would be your elevated pitch? Well, I would talk about health and wellness as a whole. And I would talk about what can we do to slow down the aging process? And what can we do to maintain a more youthful appearance and at the same time feel better? Now it's said that, okay, yes, if you look good, you feel good. But you know, we're really talking about more than that here. If, I, if you put on a nice suit, if you, if you wake up in the morning and your hair's not combed and your teeth aren't brushed and you haven't put any lotion on your skin and you just go outside, you will not feel good as good as if you clean yourself up, comb your hair, put on a nice outfit, and, you, and you'll probably stand in the mirror for, not me, but you'll probably stand in the mirror for a couple of minutes and go like, wow. I'm looking good today. And when you walk out, you'll feel good, right? Somebody out there needs to understand that's not all we're doing here. We are putting stuff on the skin that makes your skin appear better. And of course you feel good because of that. But the stuff that we're putting on the skin actually goes up to the brain and affects chemicals in the brain that make you feel better. They enhance your mood. That's more than just putting on a suit. That's more than just getting your hair did. Mm. <laughs> well, said. well said. How'd you say? Well, I like the science, but most of the people that are going to use this don't care. Oh, that's offensive. <laughs> they don't care about molecules? What? I'm leaving. So we are here to create a foundation, and we are, but we are also here to create results. The, the, and and, I, and I, I hate to say it, but the only thing I care about is results. All right, so the elevator, try it, you'll like it. I, I'd like to use the can you hear me now, but it doesn't really work in this instance. But my point is, is that it, it is something that has to be used. I think once you have used it, you are going to notice a difference. Uh, Daniel Piku, I said, what are you doing? And sure enough, he's been using it for 30 days. The beautiful thing about, I don't see Daniel, I see Daniel twice, maybe every three or four months. When you don't see someone for three or four months, and then you see them, guess what? You notice a difference in their appearance. I would venture to think that once you have used the serum, and you see someone for the first time in a period of time, you are going to get some comments, or they're gonna raise one eyebrow and say, hmm, Botox, mini facelift, and maybe the lips. You're just gonna look better and you're gonna feel better. So the answer to your question is not science, it's results, and uh, I'm excited to get this out on people's faces. Yeah. Well said, well said, ladies and gentlemen. We are so excited for this product. We're excited for you to go grab it, it's available today for you, to, for you to purchase. And 
as I began at the beginning, this really is, I know revolutionary is used a lot, but when you look at the neurocosmetic technology, the power and everything that we have in here, this product is going to forever change the landscape of skin health. And I'm grateful that, that we're here together, grateful that we're going to be the messengers who push this out, and thank you very much. So we are, we are delighted to now have our founder and CEO, Daniel Piku, come out. Again, grateful for Daniel for his support. All of this research is product. Daniel's the driving force behind that. So we're grateful for Daniel. Welcome to the stage, Daniel Piku. Welcome to the show.